What's up guys? Don't touch my tripod. I'm sorry. This is Lila. She was rubbing herself on my tripod. Anyway, so what's up guys? Joey626. Today's Friday, 7, almost 8 o'clock. And um, it's Friday, nothing to do. I'm back to being, to living the army wife life, I guess you can say. My mother left yesterday, cry, 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 and my mom crying. Um, I just couldn't, you know, resist to cry, um, just for the fact that I got used to having family around since I left to Miami, which was December... Oh my gosh, I forgot when I left. December 20... 17? Something, whatever. 16, December 16, I left. So, I came back on January 6th, came with my mother, uh, she stayed for two weeks, and um, basically she, I took her to places and she had fun, she, we saw snow, um, and it was just so much fun, took out the dog, had the best time ever. So yesterday I dropped her off at the airport, cry, 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 she cried, I cried, we cried, we cried together. So, um, yeah, it was sad. Um, so I came back and I had game night. It's an event I do for the army wives to get together and play some board games. So that's fun. And then this morning I had to wake super early, like at 5 a.m. to take my friend to the airport. And then I didn't really get much sleep. I talked to my husband this morning, so it was really good. Um, I don't care. I don't need sleep as long as, you know, it's my husband. Then I don't have to sleep, you know? So anyway, the topic for today is... Um, I want to talk about social anxiety and I always get to that topic because I always find something that really interests me and I was looking through social anxiety actually I was looking at the Virginia Tech um, serial killing remember that Korean guy that killed uh, I don't know how many people um, it was a few people at the university and he had severe cause of social anxiety and what he had was a severe case of call it, it it it's called selective mute mutism. So I was looking that up, and it has to do with anxiety. It says, selective mutism is a condition in which a child who can speak will stop speaking, usually in school or social settings. Um, most experts believe that the, that the causes of selective mutism involve the following factors. Anxiety, anxi anxiety, An anxiety, biological, environmental, and social. So yeah. So I think that it, I think that had to do a part of my life. Um, it was being made fun of when I was little, um, elementary, and that just scared me to like talk to people. And and that that's the thing that I don't I don't understand. The only place that I do get anxiety still at this day is only at school I can be anywhere I, I can go like today this morning I was talking to the people that owned a golden retriever it's nothing I can socialize with anybody but it's school and school has always been there where like I was always made fun of and people criticized me and it's always school they called me mute oh the mute girl when I was in ninth grade and it was just that I was normal at home, I was normal with my friends, it was just school. So, I think I was going through that. I had selective mutism, and I think I'm still going through that a little bit. Like, I'm scared to talk to people in class. It's just something that I just grew up with, because that's how I've always been in school. But it's really interesting to know, so just look it up and see if that's you. And it's, it's only one location where you're just, you're just, creeped out you know what I mean but anyway so I mean that's the thing I can say that I don't have social anxiety but at the same time it's that one location where um, things come back on your mind and you think about oh are they judging me or I don't want to stutter or things like that like doing like presenting something in front of people and stuff like that but I mean it's not a big deal. It's not. It's not a big deal. I'm not saying it's a big deal to me. But I mean, it makes sense now. It makes sense because it was the only place where I had issues. I had phobia. It's social phobia. 
and I remember being 13 and I'd go to church and people were like talk to people talk to people and once you tell people you're shy or you should talk more that gets into your head and you're like oh crap I'm not gonna do that because they're they, it's like peer pressure you know what I mean so when it comes to a child I remember I was working at Macy's and then the mother was like oh she's shy like talking about her daughter and then she was like oh yeah she's shy I'm like oh don't say that because then she's gonna remember that her whole life and then she's gonna grow up thinking she's shy you know what I mean she's like oh yeah that makes sense so I mean it was just a suggestion you know I'm not telling anybody how to you know raise their kid but I mean I was I was I was always grown up I was always growing up and my dad always saying oh she's shy yeah she's shy she's shy she doesn't talk to people she's very shy to doctors to everybody so I grew up with that thing so that's one thing but yeah anyways so I bought like things to do um, because my husband's coming very soon which is not really very soon but um, he's coming like in three months and don't give me this offset crap because I'm not saying dates. Um, so I bought these little things because freaking Valentine is coming. So I'm like, I'm going to buy things just to make me feel better. You know, he's not going to be here for Valentine's Day. Abby, go away. So I bought this. I'm going to put a picture of us. And then I have these little stickers. It's cute. I don't care. Don't make fun of me. I'm trying to be all crafty. So, yeah. Come here. Hey. Come here. Up, 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 up. But yeah. Anyway, so what are you guys going to do this weekend? I'm going to go see an army wife friend on Sunday. So I need to get it together. Um, I need to go out and all that great, st great stuff. And yeah, have a great weekend. And tell me what you think about this whole little social anxiety if you're going through for the people with social anxiety. And yeah. Thanks, have a great week, and leave the comment, please subscribe, because I always have to remind you guys, come on, support Jolie Poetry, so um, put a thumbs up, and see you guys later, and I'm taking my dog out, because she's whining, bye!